My name is Andrea Visich, known artistically as Andrea Andrea. I'm a singer and songwriter and founder of Angels of Charity in Music. Angels of Charity Music is a non-profit organization that provides spiritual and physical aid to underprivileged children. Nací con labio leporino paladar hendido. ¿Quién es lo que ha recibido la primera operación de esta misión Ángeles de la Comunidad y la Música? Hay momentos en que me siento muy orgullosa de que él esté aquí, pero hay momentos que lo veo y me da pena. Mi vida era... Terrible porque mis compañeros me discriminaban. A mí yo, por ejemplo, yo decía cuando ella era niña, ¿no? Yo lloraba por ella. ¿Cómo voy a hacer? ¿Qué voy a hacer? Ay, ¿Cuánto de dinero me costará? Dije, ¿no? ¿Cuántas veces he soñado que fuera distinto, que sea como los niños normales? No podía alimentarme, no podía masticar los alimentos. Le botaba por las narices. Yo cuánto yo quisiera que esté mucho mejor, como nosotros, igual que nosotros, no, que no tengo nada de defectos. ¿sí? Que no me lo estén haciendo bullying, todo eso, eso, eso más pena me da a mí. And in Puno, Perú, in the high Andes, we have medical missions providing free surgeries to many, many, many children and their families. The first day that we're here is spent evaluating the patients, and we spend that um, seeing over 300 to 400 patients. In this particular area of Peru, there's a higher incidence of cleft lip and cleft palate, so there are a lot of children that need our help. Depending on what specialists are participating, they, we pick out which patients we will be operating on for the rest of the week, and we establish the operating room board for the, the rest of the week. We work about usually 12 hours a day and we try to do about 14 or so surgeries a day. The first year we operated on 45 patients, the second year we operated on 81 patients, and uh, this year we're on uh, pace to operate on between 108 to 110 patients. The group that I'm here with, the Angels of Charity and Music, is a great group and it's got a lot of people with, with good intentions and good hearts. We're, you know, basically here to help as many kids as we can. So this, this baby is Neymar and he's about six months old and as you can see he was born with a cleft lip here on the left hand side. We want to restore the function of his lip by bringing the muscles across and we also want to improve the cosmesis of it, meaning make it look good. The whole surgery usually takes about an hour to do. It's not typically very painful in this age and he can eat right afterwards. Um, it has a very high success rate um, and really you know, makes a huge difference in Neymar's life. We have a five-month-old baby here. They have a um, unilateral cleft lip on the left. This can be an issue for them with feeding. Um, they use a lot of energy to feed and so they won't gain weight appropriately or sometimes they can't feed because they can't make a good seal and they'll lose a lot of food out their mouth. 
Um, and so we can really, you know, help them a lot by providing some c coverage and closure of that cleft. And I'm here with this beautiful baby, Abel. He has cleft lift. He's at a good age, so if we fix him now, he, he won't suffer, you know, rejection from society. So Abel isn't the right time to get it fixed. Agradezco que brindan apoyo a los discapacitados, a los que tienen labio leporino. Están regalando sonrisas a muchos niños. Me da felicidad y que sigan así apoyando a los que más necesitan. One of the most fulfilling things is is that when we can take our occupation that we do and then we can use it to help others in need is tremendous gratification. Grateful and happy that I could be a part of this. Even though we're doing good work for them, it's really also for me because it makes me feel really good. So it's kind of the best of both worlds. We get to help them and they get to make us feel really good about helping them also. Ciao a todos. There's many people that we want to help, but we're not able to help because there's um, a lack of, of specialty equipment or uh, technology or instrumentation that we would use to help that patient. We really need uh, anesthesiologists and CRNAs. We're um, always short in that respect and could see a lot more kids and take care of a lot more kids. If you can't take the time, at least donate things that uh, we could use here to make things better for them. So I encourage you uh, to please give, to please give to the Angels of Charity and, uh, and support their mission. We want to thank all the people that make this possible, the donors, doctors, nurses, and volunteers. And I invite you to join Angels of Charity and Music. God bless you. Thank you. <laughs>